Hi everyone, uh, welcome to this uh, lecture. Um, in this lecture, um, we'll look at how you can uh, analyze a digital elevation model. Um, in this case, uh, we'll look at um, the terrain um, slope function on the Earth Engine uh, um, you know, library, built-in library. Uh, let's get started. So the first thing is um, I have, um, I'll import the countries database um, just to subset uh, my study area to a certain region um, since the digital elevation model is a global data that's uh, that's huge so I just want to clip it to some area and so I'll import um, in this function I'll declare variable countries and uh, call a feature collection which is already existing on the earth engine library which is this um, uh, polygon or administrative boundary for all countries and once I import that, I'll subset it to a steady region. In this case, um, I'll call these countries here and uh, declare variable ROI, a region of interest, and then filter by country. So I can choose any country I want here. Um, and country NA is the variable uh, that um, stores the country's names. So in this case, um, I choose, um, for example, United States here, you can change, in your case, you can change this here. And uh, next is to actually import the digital elevation model from Earth Engine. And you, you just type in uh, SRTM and you have a list of SRTM data from the Earth Engine. Uh, you have, you know, here a lot of um, uh, um, SRTM or elevation data sets, but I'll choose um, the um, SRTM digital elevation uh, data version for, so I'll just import that. When I import that, it will automatically import it here. Uh, and I'll just uh, rename it um, so that when I analyze that data, um, I'll just know what this is. So I'll give it a, a name that's uh, uh, more relevant to my analysis here. So I'll just give it SR, SRTM actually. And so this is a variable. Uh, you can see actually uh, it will automatically create a variable SRTM and it imports all this data. If you click here, you can see all the details of you know this um, data set um, and you know some metadata information and and whatnot so uh, for now i don't need that um, if you're interested you can you can look at the details of that data and if you also click this it will actually take you to earth engine uh, automatically um, so you can see this data here uh, you know srtm the shuttle um, the radar topograph topography mission srtm digital elevation model it's a global data um, so um, I can close that window and next up is this chunk of the script I'll uncomment that so this will technically compute slope from SRTM right so we have SRTM or digital elevation model and by using a terrain or terrain slope uh, earth engine function um, I'll be able to um, um, so if you look at here on the Earth Engine documents, you can actually look at that algorithm. There should be something terrain. Here you go. So this is the algorithm that we'll be using. Um, so uh, it calculates slope, aspect, and the simple heat shade from a terrain DM. So this is an Earth Engine built-in function. So, and expects an image containing either a single band of elevation uh, or measured in meters or if there's more than one band named elevation. So that's, this algorithm, um, you know, expects an input data, which is an image, uh, and the measurement for that elevation should be in meters. And it will calculate, um, you know, multiple uh, topographic derivatives. Uh, these are slope, aspect, and hill shade, okay? Um, this is just if you are interested to look at, you know, the um, different Earth Engine built-in algorithms, um, you know, but for now, we'll just import that EE terrain slope function. And this will technically calculate the, the slope 
the angle of terrain, uh, uh, if you will, uh, from the digital elevation model here. And we'll look at that uh, in a bit. And then let's just create some variable for the slope here. So I'll, I'll name it slope Vs. And I'll define the minimum and maximum slope values, usually from 0 to 35 degree is a reasonable range. And I'll create a palette, a color palette for the uh, slope. So green, uh, yellow, and red. So what it means is that um, um, for a lower slope, which is closer to zero, I'll have green and yellow, medium slope, and red is a pretty slow, like, like um, steep slope. Um, you know, in a range of, you know, 30 to 35 range. So that's my color ramp. And actually, let's uh, pull the map. Um, and the first thing actually is to, um, you know, plot the digital elevation model itself, the SRTM data, the raw data, without doing any um, uh, terrain analysis or slope calculation. Since this is a global data, I'll use my um, um, region of interest here, um, uh, the Cornish uh, USA country boundary, uh, just to clip that data here. And I'll define minimum and maximum value for that elevation data so that when I visualize, I'll have some contrast in, in uh, display uh, when I look at it here on the map canvas in a bit. And I'll call it a DM. So when I look at it here, the layer will be um, uh, having that name, DM so that I can remember what that layer is. And the next app is just to actually pull the slope data here. We have already calculated the slope. Uh, we have not yet executed, we'll execute that in a bit. And so map at layer a slope. Um, so this is the slope that I'll be pulling and I'll clip it uh, again by region of interest. Um, and my region of interest again is a uh, country's boundary. And also we'll import slope Vs, the slope visualization that I've already created, some color color ramp and you know minimum and maximum range. And finally, um, give it a name. I'll just call it slope. And when I uh, execute the script, it should show up here. And then I can uh, check and uncheck to visualize that. And that's about it. And I'll um, you know go ahead and save the script in case. Um, um, to make sure that um, uh, I don't lose anything if in case I accidentally close this window and I'll go ahead and execute that when I execute that it will I'll automatically calculate uh, terrain um, on, on the earth engine cloud API uh, using Google's parallel computing without you know downloading the data myself so this is uh, a seamless and a very powerful uh, you know, usage of the cloud, um, you know, API. So now we have um, one thing we need to do is uh, because you know, it's not changing the visualization here, it's not um, giving us, um, you know, um, that specific um, um, study region. Zoom, zoom, let's change the zoom level so that we can visualize it will directly when we execute that code it will directly take us to that study area that we are interested in. So map center object will do that um, actually. So I'll create map center object um, and ROI. So what this does is, um, you know, when I execute this code, it will automatically adjust the zoom to the study area that I'm interested. Uh, let's just change, this is the zoom level. Um, so the more you increase, it will zoom in to that study area and the lower the, the number is, the zoom level is, uh, it will zoom out of that, 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 that study region. That's what it is. So now I have my um, map center object, will, which will adjust the zoom level um, and I'll save it and I'll go ahead and execute. Now you can see it adjusts the, the zoom label, right? It's pretty, you know, close to, I'll just zoom out a little bit and so that I can see the, the zoom out a little bit and just look at, you know, the country's um, uh, boundary. Fantastic. So you can see here, uh, this is the raw digital elevation model for CONUS or USA. You can see here, 
um, I can I can change it to satellites background actually and this is the digital elevation model um, the raw digital elevation model without doing anything so this is elevation data you can also look at here and you can use the inspector here if you click inspector here and click on any area it will show you the value for that elevation so as you can see here uh, the DM or the raw DM here elevation value is 2400 right and also it will give you the slope value for this uh, area and you can click to any area it will automatically change the value the elevation as well as the slope value in that specific um, you know point and you can just um, you know uh, pan um, you know zoom in and zoom out to different areas um, you know to explore um, the uh, road data as well as the 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 slope let's add actually the slope data here so this is the slope um, terrain and if you look at here it'll just give me the the different slope value so as you can see here um, you know we have defined here green um, yellow and red so red is a um, uh, uh, steep slope area or high slope area so if you click here in the red area maybe mountainous area as you can see here uh, most of the flat areas have lower uh, slope so if you look you know click here in this uh, uh, red areas it will just uh, give you um, some higher level slopes 33 here and if you go down to the valley it will should be very low right so the bottom of the valley so uh, so that's how you um, you know create um, calculate um, uh, digital um, uh, topographic derivatives um, uh, in this case um, slope using um, uh, SRTM, uh, you know, digital elevation model data, as well as the Earth Engine, um, you know, uh, terrain analysis or terrain algorithm, the Earth Engine built-in function. Um, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for listening.